Hello everybody, like uh, in the previous series of the Magento Marketplace video tutorial, uh, we explained how you can install the Marketplace module and how your seller can set up their profile and the information on your Marketplace. Today, we'll explain you how you, your vendor or your seller can add the product and how they can manage the product um, using their account. So, it's fairly easy. Uh, but I will explain you out. what you need to do is what your seller need to do rather they need to log in into the marketplace and let's say just I have a demo account so I just clicked it on and I went log in and as you can see right here is in the marketplace block this part this is the marketplace by the web call so you can see we have various kind of like I already explained this seller profile thing previously and I will explain you about explain you about this new product. Using this new product link, your vendor can add the product. Okay. So as you can see, during the product edition, you can see um, your vendor need to choose what attribute they want to have it and what kind of product they want product type they want to add it. And the basic question is from where this attribute set is coming. So this attribute set is coming from the admin part and how you can set it you know you need to go to the marketplace management and then administrator so let's say I just choose um, perfumes accessories saris new and such kind of thing and I just save those attributes set all right so let me refresh the page again and you'll see all the attribute set which has been created by the administrator are displaying here that means admin can choose in which attribute set uh, he want to allow vendor or seller to add the product and at the very same time uh, the attribute set as well as admin can choose what type of product type he want to allow for the seller or the vendor okay so let's say I have enabled in the simple one and I choose the default attribute set ID and the simple product and when and I click on the continue button right here and you'll see there's a very easy panel very frequent panel is in there where you can see the categories and subcategories with the tree menu expandable Ajax kind of thing where your seller can choose the product okay and then they can add the product what they want let's say I'm selling an iPhone 6 and you can put iPhone 6 what you see what you kind of description is in there you can make it uh, bold or italic kind of thing and it will work as you can see and the why what you see what you get editor will work very fine is for the product name the description and let's say I just put it on the saw description SKU let's say I just click iPhone okay and you can see the right here we already checking it during through Ajax call that this SKU exists or not so if the SKU exists then vendor need to choose another SKU for that and as I can see right now the SKU is already available you can see iPhone 6 is in there okay the SKU part the price is in there let's say I have had the 450 USD and I don't want any special price and this price US dollars is displaying because the base price the base price is in the USD base currency is in the USD you can change it like the euro or something like Indian rupee kind of thing you can change it like a special price from you can set the date uh, right here if you want to have it you can set the stock let's say 78 in stock or out of stock visibility you want where you want to have it tax class whatever tax class has been created by the admin will display here so I just choose none and then where it is there I just click on 67 and now I just want to have add an image so I just select it out let's say this is a uh, um, I don't know why it's not searching 
it should have oh, okay here it is and the web call wonderful profile and I let's say I just choose it as a base image and I just clicked it on save okay it will take a little time as I have uploaded an image so you can see in the left hand side at the bottom the image is uploading everything is saving right now and wow your product has been successfully saved well it may happen that you want to edit that so you can go to the my product list and you can see right here iPhone 6 is in there okay I just clicked it on and you can see the product is visible at the front end of your store and this is the category and you can see right here okay the image which we set it up is displaying here you can see the product is sold by the garment shop the profile url of the seller is in there you can just click it on and you can see the, the profile url of the seller and then as you can see right as you can see right here the shop have this kind of rating you can see and like price is their value so buyer can check at the very same time that what kind of rating a seller have it like sold by the garment shop and that part is there but suppose that something is not right so you want to change it you can change it from here you should want to edit the product and now you can see all the data description is in there and you can change from right here okay now let's go to the admin panel and because my product name is iPhone 6 so let me go to the manage product and right here you can see the iPhone 6 is there and all the information everything whatever you have entered at the front end are displaying here as well 440 US dollars 440 US dollars everything is in there well but I don't want this product and I want to delete it so what I did I just click I just click on iPhone 6 and select the action I'm sorry let's say I just want to edit something edit I want to edit the product instead of deleting because this is a little restricted area for this demo let's say I just put iPhone 6 iPhone 6 and I just save and continue it and then I just click on it iPhone iPhone 6 and I just click on it simple product see here iPhone 6 iPhone 6 so all the data is synchronized and what is happening in the Magento marketplace module is like whenever you add a product by the vendor panel and as soon as it will be approved it will be the part of the global catalog that means all the property of a global catalog will work as will work as it is that means like um, uh, you want to have kind of third party module like you want to put some auction or daily deals the module will work very fine uh, because the product whatever product you have added through the vendor panel ultimately they will be the product of the global catalog and that's why the module is so so good in this way that all your existing payment method all the shipping methods all the third party add-on will work as it is as a normal normal shop as because in the base marketplace module all the payment goes to the admin account but if you want to have something like you want to manage uh, shipping or the payment from the uh, or the taxes from the vendor end or the seller end then in that case you need to have the marketplace uh, add-ons we have more than 50 to 60 add-ons and that can be used and almost for every need we have created an add-on from the bulk upload to RMA to PayPal adaptive everything is in there so as you can see right here this is the complete list of my product list now you can search the product by name from 
you can see from to and the product status is approved or unapproved so also you can delete the product from here you can mass delete the product from here so all the CRUD operations the create read update and delete is from right here so everything will work as it described and at the very same time as display at the front end and at the very same time at the back end so complete catalog management from the vendor panel is in there okay let me delete a product let me show you how like let's add the product which I have added I just select it on delete I should want to read this product and I just click on delete it product has been successfully deleted from your account and let's say I just clicked it on and whoa the product does not exist that's why you get 404 and I just click on manage product and you'll see no iPhone 6 is here so everything is saying properly so that was all for the catalog management for the product um, in the rest in the next series of the video will surely explain you out for the other part of the marketplace like the shipping management product management adding downloadable product configurable product bundle and group product how you can manage the payment method shipping method taxes bulk upload such kind of thing so stay tuned thanks for watching